Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, and this week's vlog is where I document my weight loss journey, showing guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the positives, and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. But before we get into this weekly vlog, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this weekly vlog. Last night, not last night, <laughs> so tired I am. This morning, like early this morning, girl, I'm talking like four o'clock in the morning, my grandma left to go back home and so I like helped pack her car and she drove home and stuff like that and then I had a meeting at eight o'clock this morning and I was like a minute late but it it was fine extremely tired I have a another meeting in about 20 minutes oh I'm on the wrong date in my calendar I have another meeting in about 20 minutes and with that 20 minutes, I'm going to go get coffee. I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to get coffee because I am tired and I need it today. Like I actually am not playing around like I'm for real going to get coffee. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm doing um, this week. I am really, I would say going forward, I'm really trying to have a better relationship with the scale and not relying on it too much to tell me how I'm doing like although this is a weight loss journey and I am wanting to lose weight and knowing that I've lost weight it's easiest by looking at the scale but also I can tell like by my clothes and how they're fitting like my clothes are definitely fitting a lot looser which is nice so like inches are, are going which is great but I just need to have a better relationship with the scale because last week being away from my apartment and being away from my scale I wasn't able to weigh myself because the place that we stayed at didn't have a scale at least I didn't look for one but I didn't see one also at the same time while I was there so there's that but yeah I I feel like it really helps me understand that I rely too much on the scale and the scale gives me low-key anxiety uh which is just not good it stresses me out and the fact that it makes me think of like a performance-based thing and i think it's because i don't know if i've explained this before but my health insurance had sent me this scale and the program that it was associated with requires you to weigh yourself every day and I got in that habit of weighing myself every single day and I it wasn't like a problem that I saw immediately that I was like oh yeah this is obviously like not a good thing for me I was like oh this is great because I can see how I'm doing each day and see how like foods affect me and stuff like that and I really need to get back to just weighing myself once a week because that's what I was doing before and like weighing myself every day is just not healthy I'm realizing for myself because that was what kind of changed my relationship with the scale so going forward I'm going to try to weigh myself just once a week instead of weighing myself every day but yeah that was like another thing that happened last year like I got sent that around a I think May May June is when I got sent this scale and was told like you should be weighing yourself every day so I like started getting into that habit and yeah like before then I was honestly doing okay like a lot of things happened like last year 2020 was like a very difficult year and like mentally for me in a lot of different ways but like weighing myself I didn't realize how that also like affected me and like aided in my weight gain last year besides like my mental health like you know aiding in my weight gain um for me it was just like that was a lot and I'm realizing that now like I realized that last week and 
realizing that now it's just like weighing myself every day is honestly it does not have a positive impact with me and it doesn't promote a healthy relationship with the scale for me so i need to just stick with weighing myself once a week instead of weighing myself every single day so that is what i'm gonna do going forward but yeah it is 9 16 right now i have a meeting at 9 30 i'm going to get dressed quickly go to starbucks real quick and put in my order and get this day started um but yeah i woke up kind of late because not late like i got up at like 7 55 to like turn on my computer my computer was taking forever to turn on so i could get into this eight o'clock meeting but after i have this next meeting i have like several hours free so i'm gonna try to knock out some tickets not some tickets. I'm going to try to knock out some projects. I have a lot going on. I'm going to be doing a life update soon. I'm sure you can kind of guess as to like some of the changes that have happened. Um, but I'm going to explain soon. And then also I found out some news the other day that could potentially cause for more life updates. So I'm just waiting until some things are finalized before I film a life update video, but that will come. That will come regardless. But I'm very excited. My stomach is growling, but I also like need freaking caffeine right now. I'm also probably gonna get like a macro bar because I don't have time to make breakfast. All right, so I kind of wanted to share what I had yesterday now that I have caffeine in my veins and I'm a little bit more awake and alive. Um, I need to make sure I don't have a message on here from my teammate. I don't, because he's offline. Cool, so I guess we're not having that meeting. Great. <laughs> but essentially, yeah, I wanted to share what I had yesterday. I had two sides of sourdough bread and a pound of shrimp because we went to get crawfish yesterday as like a little treat. I was telling my grandma about it that I've ordered from them several times and their, and their fish is really good. And so she's like, yeah, that was really good shrimp. And so I had a pound of shrimp with Cajun seasoning, medium spice level, and two sides of sourdough bread with a little bit of butter, which apparently butter does not affect me and neither does buttermilk because I had... I didn't know that the Shake Shack chicken burgers, chicken fillets, whatever you want to call them, are made in buttermilk. And I found that out this past weekend. And I've had them in the past and like apparently I'm fine with buttermilk. So that is interesting. I'm not going to push my luck and like go full on milk and full on like dairy in my ice cream. I'm not going to do that. I mean, a milkshake would be so nice. A root beer flow. Ugh. Oof, so good but i'm not gonna do that to myself because you know i can't come and die no i can't so yeah i had that yesterday i had a macro bar a smoothie in the morning and a fudge bar from Hagen dazs the non-dairy one and i had a half pack it's it's not really a half pack it's those packs that i show you of black forest not like the big ones but like the smaller ones of the black forest gummy bears the citrus flavor i had that it's the one that equals up to like 400 calories or whatever i had that yesterday and that was about it i believe so i'm a little stressed <laughs> my grandma's car broke down in the middle of texas as she's driving home but she's doing okay you know tow truck is en route but it's stressful anyways I am stress eating and I'm having the Hagen dazs fudge bar And I have a meeting in like 30 minutes, but I'm trying to get through some projects right now, so. Man, I don't know how to feel, y'all. I don't know how to feel. This is wild. 
but God's willing, she's going to be okay. I prayed for her journey, that she would be safe and she would get home in one piece. This is a hiccup, but I pray that she'll be fine regardless. Emotionally, today has been a day. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now. But yeah, I, my grandma just called me and saying that her car, I can't even talk. My grandma just called me and told me that her car started up again and is working. She's gonna call me when she is like leaving or whatever. But yes, it has been emotional because it's stressful. Like my grandma is older and she's by herself she's driving back home and for her to have her car break down worries me because honestly if it was me by myself I would be stressed out like I'd be I'd be very stressed out because I don't one thing about me I don't handle those situations really well with car stuff because I've just dealt so much with cars and I'm just like over it but when it's someone who I love and care about, such as my grandma, and I'm like, she is older, I want her to be safe, and she is a black elderly woman. Like, I I think about where she's at. She's in a small town in Texas, is where her car broke down. And I just want her to be safe, you know? I want her to be okay. And you just don't know how people are and maybe this will might give you an insight into like what it's like being black but like there's some people who literally just don't vibe with you because of the color of your skin and you have to think about your safety like you legitimately have to think about your safety because you may have never interacted with them in your entire life but that doesn't matter to some people they will just be so aggressive towards you and for me, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's the right thing to do because I judge people based off of their character, but because I am a black woman, a black Latina woman, a woman of color, like there's just a lot of layers that I got to think about in terms of how I'm presenting myself, how I'm speaking, how I'm interacting in the world, the things that I do and say, and stuff like that there's just there's just a lot of layers that I personally have to think about especially when it comes to my safety so although I'm really glad that my grandma's okay I definitely stress out to the point that I was just like I am not gonna cook anything because I literally can't function and so yeah I had Starbucks today and I had Chick-fil-a which is an expensive day to be quite honest with you but yeah anyways I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow I'm extremely full right now. I have my little small lemonade. That's what I was drinking. And oh, I also bought Chick-fil-A sauce from King Supers because they now sell it at the grocery store. So had some of that. But yeah, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. I still have a lot of work to do, so we'll check in later. It's my favorite movie I've ever seen or no? No, I'm gonna contour with some just
stressed and feeling overwhelmed like I'm not a crier but I feel like I could cry <laughs> at any at any moment so I just like there's just stuff going on with work because of the projects that I'm on, some of them are just not going how I planned. And it's really due to just my time management and me needing to be better at time management. And I feel like this morning when I was working out, I don't know if you guys have taken the Enneagram test, but if you needed to know, I am a one and perfectionism is something that like ones can struggle with more than the other Enneagram numbers and it's all like on a spectrum it's all relative like not every person who is a one is exactly the same because there's wings and stuff like that and I'm a wing too but then again like I'm my own individual person. I 
move and breathe and operate in the world very differently than a lot of people because I am my own person. But anyways, I find those tests, those personality tests and stuff like that helpful to see like how you can grow. And the Enneagram one is my favorite because it shows you where you're at when you're in health and then when you're where you're at when you're not in health and the numbers that you can go to that like when you are really stressed out like you would go to this number but when you're in a really good balanced place you can go to this number when you're in health and so it's yeah and it's like all like mentally and emotionally spiritually and all that stuff so I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be spiritual, but like mentally and emotionally, like are the main two factors of like where you're at in health versus unhealth because it's like stressors and stuff like that. So anyways, this morning I realized that with all the projects that I'm on and like how I'm wanting to be doing and improving and stuff like that, I had always thought like as a one, like I knew without even having to take the test, like. I'm a one like that's for sure but one thing that I didn't necessarily agree with because other people saw it in me but I didn't see it as much in myself like I I do I'm not like that I'm not out of touch with who I am as a person like I'm very I know myself really well but there are parts of myself that I definitely denied and I feel like I just came to a breaking point of understanding that I am a perfectionist because it was something that I prided myself on but I denied in a way of just like yeah like I want things to be done right but I wouldn't put all my eggs in that basket of like it really has to be done that way for myself until working on certain projects now and realizing that oh this is like deeply embedded in me that I need to do things perfectly especially when I'm very passionate about it like if I'm not passionate about it I don't care about doing things perfectly like it doesn't matter to me I really have to justify for myself like oh yeah like you should do this perfectly but when I'm kind of a novice at something or if I don't fully understand something and I want to do really well at it, I get very frustrated when I can't do it perfectly or do it to the standard that I set for myself. And I realized that this morning when I was working out because I had an early meeting. Granted, it's like a 15 minute, it's like a stand up meeting type of thing. So you're just like, telling people where you're at with projects and stuff like that and certain things kind of have gotten out of control or I've just been a lot slower and granted like I'm still learning and I'm not perfect but it's hard for me not to be perfect in the things that I want to excel at so that's what I've been struggling with um the past several weeks and then I feel like because yesterday my allergies are like I have the window open because it's really hot in our apartment even though like the heating AC like none of it's on because if it was on it would be too cold but anyways I opened the window to like get some air in but like my allergies my nose is like we ain't working for you no more but yeah I like lost my train of thought, but essentially that's how I'm doing. I'm not going to apologize for getting deep because that's just like what I'm going through right now. And it's challenging facing new dimensions of yourself that has always been there, but like learning to acknowledge it, accept it for what it is. But also understanding that, like, for myself, for me personally, because not everyone is the same, for me personally, I want to change that about myself and be better about that, about myself and, like, become healthier in that. And I think it just means that I really just should go to therapy. I've been needing to go to therapy for a lot of things. But I'm just really good at, like, okay, like, 
there's a problem that has arisen in my life. Let's go to therapy for this small thing. And then once that's resolved, bye-bye. Like, I don't need therapy anymore. But really, I should be in therapy long-term and then just kind of switch from, you know, if I need to go weekly, go weekly. And then if I need to adjust to going monthly, go monthly, but at least go monthly so that I'm talking through things and working through things and getting better. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to try to find a therapist. So you saw my salad. I had some goat cheese in there along with like two fillets of salmon. So I had like an eight ounce thing of salmon with goat cheese for my salad. I'm about to, I'm about to like make my ice cream and have that right now. The day, the last couple hours that I've had It's just wild, to be honest with you. Like, it's just absolutely wild. I am so stressed out. Like, it's just... I need this ice cream. I need this ice cream. I just... Truly, like, the events that have happened at work with the project just literally went haywire. Haywire. It's like you... This is something similar to what happened. It's like you're trying to work within a system, but you try doing this thing that you've done and practiced several times and the entire system breaks and everything is erased. That's similar to what happened to me. Yeah, so I have no words. Um, I still have a few projects that I need to finish and get done. I still have a lot of tasks I need to finish and get done. But yeah, that's kind of in my day. I'm gonna show you guys the ice cream that I make once it's made and I'm gonna eat that and I'm gonna go about my day. Also, my order that I had purchased at the beginning of the month through like a retail store, UPS said it was shipped went to check my mail, have not received a package at all. And the retail store that I'm going through, like I called them, I let them know. I'm just like, hey, like it's set. I didn't get notified that this was shipped. I like looked on the app and it was saying that it was delivered on the 24th. And I was like, oh, let me go check my mailbox. Nothing was in there from you guys. So... I don't know what's happening and they're like oh yeah sometimes ups does that where they'll like mark it as delivered a few days earlier but we so we like give them a few days but if nothing shows up the earliest we can do something is by june 1st which is coming up so i'm just like well cool this is really cool this is really great <sighs> I just want it to be payday already. Payday is not till next week. <laughs> Guys, just this week, I'm I'm going through it, but, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just got news. I got an exciting message. I'm gonna focus on this now, but yeah, this week has been um, wild to say the least in these stressors that are happening. I'll check in with you guys later. Because I can't 
right now. Morning. Um, I'm gonna shout this out really quick. It's the Thera Breath mouthwash. It's an oral oral rinse. Honestly, I get the hype. I get the hype. It is pricey, but it is so worth it. And it really does such a good job of cleaning your mouth. And yeah, the clean mint flavor tastes like a gum, like a mint gum that you have. And the flavor doesn't stay in your mouth. It eventually goes. Anyways, if you can hear my, my fan is going mad right now. It is hot in my apartment. And so I have opened, I have opened my window because I don't think it's supposed to snow for the rest of the year, which is nice. Not rest of the year, rest of the season. Um, spring going into summer because it's about to be June and we don't really get snow uh, in June. We usually get it up until like maybe June 6th or something sometimes, but I haven't had snow so I don't think we're gonna have it going forward so I took off the little sticky stuff that goes on like your inside of your door to like help stop outside stuff from coming in outside air it's too early in the morning for me to be trying to talk about things that should make sense i'm gonna head to the gym but yesterday was kind of it was a lot of growth for me and the fact on how i handle stress now i feel like before i was very external or I had the, I, I was more external in my frustrations and how I handled stress in that I would get really, I would shut down pretty much. Like I would shut down my personality and I would get really focused and get things at hand. And as I've gotten older, things have kind of switched and I get frustrated I guess no that's a lie I wasn't external I was very internal but it would come off external as me being like shut down and shut off from people which would like be external in the fact that I wasn't approachable when I was stressed because I would really focus hyper focus now I'm able to have more of a personality and laugh things off externally, have my little freak out, allow myself to feel the emotion of like, this is stressful, I'm freaking out, or I'm scared, or I'm nervous, or I'm anxious, whatever, and then be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on getting it done while also freaking out. So, improvement. I don't really know but that's what's happening um i am hoping for a better day today but one thing these leggings that i wear are fitting so much better like i haven't weighed myself at all the window's open so people are like leaving to go to work um so you can hear that i'm so sorry i don't know why i'm being like this Oh my god. I thought something was breaking outside. Just wanted to share that I feel like I coped well with my stressors when it came to food yesterday. I ate healthy, not healthy, I ate pretty clean and I ate food that was in the house. I did not go out to eat, I didn't go out to buy food. And also, my leggings are starting to fit me a lot better like they did last summer. So, that makes me really excited. And no, I have not weighed myself. At all. So, we shall see together what I weigh on Saturday, but it's Thursday morning. 
I've been talking to you for seven minutes. I need to go to the gym. I've been on my way up, now it's really far down. I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground. In October, it feels like summertime. I keep falling for you like every night. Been communicating through satellites, yeah. It's black and white. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day Like day by day Did, I had to end up cutting my workout short because I felt like a weird kink in the left lower part of my hip. So I came home, I foam rolled it out, and then got ready really quickly because I have a meeting in about 15 minutes. And I'm going to make my breakfast right now. But yeah, I'm hoping today's a better day. I'm hoping that things can get solved with these projects that I'm working on because a lot of hiccups have happened kind of explains like a metaphor of what happened and yeah it's just kind of intense i'm trying not to freak out too much about it because i feel like i'm the only one who's really freaking out whereas everybody else is like calm <laughs> so yeah i <sighs> trying to get better I have a one-on-one -on -one later with my boss. Hoping it goes well. Praying it goes well. I need to pray, actually. I, I need to really pray. And I need to check on my grandma. She's doing good. It's just been a really stressful week. It's been such a stressful week. And I... I'm just getting, like, curveballs thrown at me. A lot of people are saying it's because of, like, astrology or whatever. 
I have no idea what all those things mean. Like, I truly don't. I feel like one day I'll look into it because I feel like there is maybe a little bit of merit to it because I was looking into, I'm a Leo and I was looking into like Leo traits and stuff like that. And I always thought like, oh, like none of this is like me or whatever. But then I kept getting the Leo horoscope, like Instagram accounts on my explore page. And I was looking through them because it like just continues going like for one whole scroll or whatever. And I was looking through them and I was just I was liking a lot of them because a lot of them I was just like, yeah, that is me. Like there was one with Tupac and it's saying like, if you find something better, I'm not going to hold you back. Like go and get it. Like I'm not going to keep you here or ones where it's just like, when I'm done with you, I, I delete everything. I remove everything about you for my life so I don't have to like focus on it and I am very much that way just because for me as a boundary I think it's healthy when you're no longer in a relationship with someone not like romantically like platonically um like a friendship it helps me heal faster and also it helps me to not focus on it because I can get hyper focused on a relationship that didn't work out or whatever like I of course like I'll still think about them and you know like they'll pop up in my mind every now and then uh probably until like hopefully until I no longer think about them but it's just a lot healthier for me So I went to a coffee bar. I'm having a large um, iced tea that has oat milk and vanilla in it. And I'm also having a lemon crumb gluten-free muffin. I have not eaten anything at all today and it is 10.57 in, this, in the morning. Because I've just been working. But I have a half day today at work, so I am just going to do a couple more hours of work and then take the rest of the day off because it's a half day and I'm really excited. And yeah, so we'll see what I have today uh, for food, but I will keep you in the loop as always. So the muffin tastes very off it has a weird texture to it as you chew it more it gets like gummy for whatever reason so I had a few bites of it and I was just like I don't really vibe with this so because it's 11 o'clock now I'm gonna head to (laughs) Chick-fil-a I'm gonna get lunch because I don't feel like cooking anything or even putting anything together I just feel like grabbing and going that is what I feel like doing, so that is what I am going to do. Although, I really 
want sushi but sushi is expensive and I don't really want to wait so exactly hi guys um, it's it's Saturday morning it's about to be nine o'clock I am I have no idea what I'm doing today but I wanted to share how I felt this past week in terms of my confidence despite this week being hella stressful I feel like my confidence in my body has definitely improved and I realized how much of a crutch that weighing myself every day was and how unhealthy it was for me so I am back to just weighing myself on Saturdays and not worrying about it and it also like I realized yesterday with me eating like sushi and having crumble cookie and all that stuff I didn't care about like oh it's probably gonna affect my weigh-in tomorrow I was just like I'm enjoying the foods that I'm eating right now and if it affects my way in tomorrow, it affects my way in. Like, who cares? I've had a tough week and I'm going to eat this food because this is the food that I want to eat. And I had a latte yesterday. Like, I had everything that I wanted to eat yesterday, despite being really busy and having a lot of meetings in the morning and trying to get a lot of things done before my half day. I also ran a lot of errands. I need to run more errands today. I need to look at my car. I need to get, I need to get things checked out. So, anyways, I am going to recount, like, what I weighed a couple weeks ago. So, on May 15th, no, May 13th, I weighed 223.9. And then on Yeah, May 15th, 223. And then on May 22nd, or I guess 23rd, I went up to 226.8. And like that week was the week that I was in Airbnb over snacking. But I was like, honestly, gaining like two, three pounds solidly is not bad. Like from going to 223.9 to 226.8, that's not bad at all for a week of just like really going in on the snacking. And then, um, I got back down today, my weigh-in, to 225.5. So, let me subtract that to see. 226.8 minus 225.5. I lost 1.3 pounds, which is really good, in my opinion, for, like, a week of having a very stressful week that's how much I lost so I am gonna eat some food I need to charge my camera because my battery is dying and yeah I'll check in with you guys later for what I eat today so I ordered a pizza from mod pizza it has pineapple, spinach, mushroom, garlic, and spicy chicken sausage, along with dairy-free cheese. And then I'm going to have two of these little ice, I'm like ice cream. <laughs> I'm thinking about ice cream. Uh, two of these cereal packets. And that is how I'm ending this video. That's what I'm gonna have. I ran some errands. I honestly have a really big headache. My appetite's not that big today, so the pizza was like six inches, so there was like three other slices. That last one is just to show you what it looked like. But yeah, I was running errands today and needed to get some food, so I stopped by Mod Pizza, made, did a create your own pizza, because they have dairy-free cheese, which is great, and I was really craving pizza, and then I'm gonna have it with cereal. Hopefully that doesn't mess with my stomach I really want ice cream but honestly I had that lemon pie <laughs> earlier today and um I yeah 
don't need any more sweets because I feel like that just would be sugar overload and with the Cheerios that has a lot of sugar in it as well so I'm just like I'm, I'm good on sweets I need to not have the ice cream so that is how I'm ending my day that's how I'm ending this week's vlog I wait to 25.5 and yeah I'm feeling really good about it I I feel like my legs have toned up more my butt for sure has toned up a lot which is really cool and very very exciting and yeah so if you made it to end this video thank you so much I know it's been a chatty one this week but I was going through it guys it was a rough week for you girl <laughs> but if you haven't already please do give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing and comment down below say hi I say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and I will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>